Cancer, how's it going? Welcome to your July 2021 love reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer Rising here, guys. Happy birthday. I hope you guys are having an awesome birthday season so far. All right, guys. So as with every reading that I do, I will answer a yes or no question for you at the end of the reading. So... Throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you might have for me so that I can answer that for you at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. First card out, the Magician Cancer. Nice. Crossed by the moon. Back-to-back -back majors. King of Coins. Judgment. Three of Swords. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups, sweet. King of Cups, look at you guys. The Lovers. And the Eight of Coins. All right, Cancer, let's do this, guys. Okay, so you are coming in as the Magician. As a Magician, crossed by the Moon. Maybe you guys are into magic and actually doing some moon magic here. Highly recommend it. Um, anyway, this is Pisces energy, so... I think it's more so that you don't know what's going to happen here, right? It's it's like a lack of clarity. You don't really know the whole deal. Or maybe you're not revealing everything, you know, about what it is that you want, what it is that you're trying to do here. Um, so maybe, you know, you're doing some magic to uh, figure out what the deal is, what the situation is. Maybe you're into divination. Um, also highly recommend it, especially for you, Cancer being intuitive and all let's see what is this moon for you what is this moon energy what is this hidden stuff it doesn't have to be anything bad okay oh my gosh the high priestess look at your energy cancer the moon the high priestess and the magician y'all if you are not somebody who is into magic um into manifestation I highly highly recommend it for you like this is really this is really amazing spiritual manifestation energy for you work with the moon all right for sure for sure so this is basically aside from all of that here if you are thinking that you're in a situation or just if you're single and wondering about your love life like you are now watching this reading right trust yourself your intuition is your greatest gift, Cancer. Um, trust yourself. Um, the universe is really trying to show you through your own intuition. So whatever you feel like is unknown, you have all the tools that you need within you to figure it out. For sure. <laughs> okay? Intuition is on point, Cancer. Let's get another one here. the full four majors on top of each other what a badass reading cancer anyway the full aries energy this is a new beginning this is taking a leap of faith so yeah you don't know what's going to happen here you don't know how it's going to play out it's really just taking a risk um but it's fine. It's going to be okay. You need to trust yourself here. If you're thinking of embarking on, you know, a whole new relationship or even if you're single and just putting yourself out there again, trust yourself. You don't need to know everything before it happens. But even if you feel like you do, you have everything within you to figure it out on your own. Right? You have that intuition. You have that ability. So don't feel like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know if I want to jump. I don't know if I want to do this because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what they want. I don't know how it's going to go. You can figure that out. I promise you. Okay. This is, this is about a new beginning. It's about taking a risk and just jumping right in here. And isn't this just beautiful? Isn't it just a beautiful card? It's really bright. I'm sorry. I'm by the window. Maybe you can't even see it. Anyway, in your foundation, you've got the King of Coins here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Maybe you're dealing with an Earth sign, or maybe you're just like wondering if you should fully commit. I mean, maybe even this has to do with an actual marriage, right? This is highly committed energy. 
devoted, loyal, reliable. <clears throat> and this is either going to be you or this other person taking on this energy, but it's it's the exact energy that you would want if you want a commitment. All right, let's get another one here. The devil, Capricorn. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, so guys, with having the magician, the high priestess, the moon, and the devil all right here on top of each other, absolutely work your magic, guys. Do your shit. Do whatever it is that you do to manifest. Do not bind anyone else to you, and make sure nobody's doing that to you, okay? It's a really toxic, really binding energy with the devil here. And to have it with all of these energies, it could be some kind of magic that somebody is doing. Or you are. Don't hate me for it. Not all cancers are sane, just like not all people are sane. Okay? I don't mean that it's just a you thing. I don't. Like I said, I'm a cancer rising. I don't have any judgment as far as signs, but this is... It's not healthy energy. Um, so also, like, if you kind of feel like that's being directed at you, put up your walls, guys. Put up your shields. Do what you need to do to get rid of that energy, okay? It's, it could be that somebody's trying to force a commitment here. Um, anyhow, toxic energy, binding energy can also be a lot of fear. So it could be that somebody's afraid of commitment here. It could be that, you know, you're afraid to take a chance on a commitment because, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. Um, again, you do. It's all in you. So you might think you don't know, but you do. Okay. Um, let's see. What is this devil energy here? What is this devil energy for cancer? The six of wands reversed. Okay, somebody might have some arrogance issues, some real real issues with like ego and needing to be the center of attention. It could also be that somebody feels like they lost something here and they have to kind of really try to control the situation to get it back. Let's get another one. three of swords reversed okay somebody is hurt somebody is hurt from something and not healed from it and it has them feeling like they lost it has them feeling like a failure so they might resort to some kind of toxic means to try to fix the situation here all right so just be mindful if you were dealing with somebody that maybe you broke up with or whatever um, they're still hurt over it. And they might not be coping in the healthiest ways. Okay? Could be you taking on this energy as well. This can be for either one of you here. Huh. All right, your recent past, you have judgment here. So this is making a final decision on something. It can be something coming back from your past that you thought was done, thought was over. It might be this person that's still hurt over something that happened between you two. Um, somebody that still might be a little obsessed here. Huh, interesting. And, you know, maybe you're wondering if you should take a chance on them. Maybe somebody just popped back up talking about they want a commitment and you're like, man, I don't know. I don't know if I should risk it. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know that you should either, <laughs> Cancer. I don't think they're in a good place. I think that they look at it as, as like they just need to win, right? Okay, in your present, you have the Three of Swords here. Again, Libra energy. Um, but it's, again, it's hurt. Somebody's hurt here. Somebody's feeling betrayed. Somebody's feeling crushed. Um Let's see what that's all about. What's this Three of Swords for Cancer? This does get better, guys. Just an FYI. We didn't get that far into it, but it does get better, I promise. Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. These cards, I hope you guys can see them because they are just so pretty. Um, 
Anyway, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, younger water sign energy. You could be dealing with somebody that is younger. So the Knight of Cups energy, it's really flirty. It's real romantic, but it's real young minded. Um, and I don't want to say like emotionally immature because it doesn't come across that way. It's kind of like somebody who like hasn't been through anything in love yet. So they're not like pessimistic. You know what I mean? Like they still look at, at love like, like it's all happy. It's all happy all the time. Um, you know, that kind of shit. It's cute though. It's cute. Um, but I think though, I don't know if it's you. You don't want to accept this offer. You don't want to talk to this flirty ass person because you're still hurt over something or is this them? Let's see. Let's get another one. The moon again. You've got the moon twice here. Maybe you're just heavily dealing with a Pisces. Uh, there's a lot of like unknown here for you. Like there's a lot of things that are like still like not revealed. Maybe somebody isn't revealing that they're still hurt over something. Maybe somebody's just acting like everything's great. Everything's happy, but it's not. But again, younger energy, the moon, obviously, like I just explained it in the beginning, it's things that aren't revealed yet. There's, it's a lack of clarity. Let's see. What is this moon energy for cancer? the four of pentacles somebody is holding back somebody is either really still holding on to you or you them or somebody's really holding back here closed off emotionally like not wanting to reveal like anything about their emotions basically so somebody's coming in here with some feelings and somebody else is like um no i'm just gonna keep this to myself we're not gonna talk about it you know all right in your immediate future though, like I said, it gets better. The Nine of Cups, Pisces again. This is wish fulfillment. This is contentment. It's being happy. It's getting what it is that you want in your love life. What is that though? What is it, Cancer? What is this wish fulfillment for Cancer? What is it? What is this Nine of Cups for Cancer in the future? The King of Wands could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But um, this is either going to be you taking on this energy and going after what you want and getting it, thereby making like your wishes come true, or this is this other person. This is what you're wishing for that you're going to get. So this type of person here, um, they could be a fire sign. They don't have to be. Probably have fire in their chart though. So it's a really attractive person, like hot as shit, life of the party, real outgoing, extroverted, um, real motivated real energetic real passionate like it's a it's heavy sexual energy basically um doesn't mean that's all it's gonna be that's just that's how there's gonna be a lot of actual attraction basically okay all right now you're also coming in here as the ten of cups pisces again maybe you have pisces in your chart you've got a lot of it here that's for sure Anyway, so if you are not in a whole ass relationship, like you guys are together, maybe you have kids, maybe you don't, but you consider yourself a family, living together, the whole deal. If you are not in that right now, that's what's on your mind. That's your intention. Like, yeah, you might be closed off, but that's just how we come across. Like we all have things that we want, right? Like you know what you want inside of you. And this is it right here. This whole happy ending, happy family. All that good shit. Let's get another one on that Ten of Cups. What is this Ten of Cups? The Three of Coins. Capricorn energy. So this is teamwork. This is about being in a family setting, a family unit, relationship where you guys make a good team. You guys work together. Um... You could be interested in somebody that you work with if you're single, but either way, it's it's teamwork, it's building together, okay? In your environment, you've got the King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You've got three kings here, guys, so far. You might be dealing with three, three whole different people, but if you are, they all look to be grown with the exception of this little one up here. 
Anyway, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is in your environment. You have somebody in your environment that has genuine feelings for you. And if they're not expressing them already, they will, they want to. Like this is the whole deal. This is somebody who is grown up, emotionally mature, emotionally available. Um, they might work in some kind of a healing profession. It's, it's really spiritual energy as well. Paternal, they don't have to be a man. It's the energy of the card, all right? Let's get another one on it. The tower, oh boy. Something's happening around you in a major way having to do with this person. So this person might be going through some major life changes or the fact that they have feelings for you that they're gonna express if they haven't already is like life changing. Like it's somebody coming in with all this emotion and it's like, what, what the fuck? Are you serious? Like, oh my gosh, I didn't know. I had no idea. Um, life changing way out of the blue all right what is this here what is this tower in your environment this person might have a lighter hair lighter eyes but you've got them all here honestly you've got them all you've got all the people <laughs> the three of pentacles You've got that twice now. You've got it in your energy and you've got it in your environment. So again, it might be you're dealing with a coworker. Um, either way, I don't think that there's any kind of third party situation here for you. I know that there's two threes here, but I don't see anything like that anywhere else here. So I'm not gonna go there, but I think it's just, you know what? I'm gonna get another one before I speak on it actually. The Queen of Wands. Maybe, maybe there is a third party situation around you. Queen of Wands can sometimes be like another woman. Um, it might just kind of come out of the blue here that there is something going on with another person here. There's some kind of third party thing in your environment. I don't even know that you're involved, but it wouldn't come up if it wasn't affecting you in some kind of way. This is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, again, attractive person, really sexual, really, you know, feeling yourself kind of energy. Um, huh. So it's either going to be really unexpected. Somebody's going to approach you really unexpectedly and like drop this on you that they really like want to build with you. They have these feelings. They have this attraction, whatever. Or there's a third party thing going on with somebody that you're dealing with. Anyway, let's move it along because I could just keep clarifying that one till the end of time. So in your hopes and fears, you have the lovers, Gemini energy. You could be hoping for a Gemini um, otherwise, you're just hoping for this type of a connection, that divine counterpart type of a connection where you guys mirror each other, there's balance, there's harmony, everything's great, but it's also a fear, right? Because you're holding back here. You don't want to reveal everything about yourself because that's terrifying, right? Um, but I mean, you kind of have to a little bit if you want to get to that point. You're never going to have that intimacy if you're closed off. Let's get another one on that. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, hoping for a commitment, but scared of it at the same time. And I have to point out here, you have now got the King and Queen of Pentacles. You've got the King and Queen of Wands. We're only missing the Queen of Cups, and then you'd have all of these matches here. So there's a lot of divine counterpart energy here for you, if you want it. And that that's not, I don't believe that there's one person for everyone. So you might have a couple options here that will match you. I think it's because you're grown. I think it's because you've gotten to a point where like, I don't think you're gonna deal with anything less than that. Not, not in a real ass commitment anyway. Okay, your outcome is the eight of coins, Virgo energy. That is putting in the work. It's working towards something. So what is it that you're working towards? Let's see, it's workaholic energy guys. 
honestly. Let's see. What is this eight of coins for Virgo? I mean, not Virgo. It is Virgo, if you're dealing with one. It is Virgo energy. What is up with this eight of coins for Cancer? What are we doing? The six of cups. Scorpio energy. Maybe you're working on something with a Scorpio or a Virgo. Doesn't have to be either, though. But this is working on something with a past soulmate. So if it's not somebody from your past in this life, somebody you already know, doesn't have to be an ex. It can just be somebody you've known for a long time. Um, if you are not working on something with somebody from this, from your past, this is a past life connection. It's nostalgic. It's sweet. It's it's not so much being stuck on the past. It's kind of like wanting to get to a point when things were like easier, lighter, more fun, more childlike. Let's get another one. The Ace of Cups. Look at that. It's beautiful. This is a really awesome card to end the reading with, especially love. This is a new beginning, guys. New beginning with a past person. Again, doesn't have to be an ex, so don't get mad doesn't have to be but there is a soulmate past life connection if they're not actually part of your current past all right so new beginning here lots of love um all aces are new beginnings are all gifts from the universe this one is about love and emotion so exactly what you would want here so i maybe you are going to take this risk here with this person guys i don't know you'll have to let me know Okay, let's get your yes or no question, Cancer. Are you ready? Take a deep breath, focus on your question. Yes or no for my Cancer friends. That's a yes with the Eight of Wands. That's a big yes, guys. All right, I hope you wanted it to be. You guys take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I greatly appreciate all of you. I will talk to you in another day with your next reading.